Hello everyone, Eric Steinbrenner here at 2024 Light Ovation for WAC Lighting. We're gonna be taking a look at the new introductions for Dwell ED. This fixture is not crooked, it is the Bastone. It uses acrylic light, a very basic fixture. However, a really nice round back plate allows this to pivot 360 degrees. You can create different patterns. You could run it up a stairwell. It's gone over extremely well for different design applications. The Cabot is a very interesting fixture that actually has an accordion effect to how it can be adjusted all the way out to 48 inches. The omnidirectional light in each ring really throws the light out into the room, but you can reconfigure the fixture into all different shapes. The corkscrew has gone over very well. It is a linear light that obviously swirls around the bar, similar to some of the other offerings out there, but what makes this nice is it's a lighter, smaller diameter, and it's good for small spaces, apartments, condos, where you don't have the room for some of that larger tubing. The ice cube was offered last January in a single pendant, and it went over so well, we decided to put it in a multi-pendant configuration like some of our other fixtures. It has canine crystal that really pops a lot of light in patterns, a very beautiful effect. The Marguerite is a 36 inch chandelier. It is a very clean loop of light. The LED, as you can notice, is encased within that silicone diffuser and does a really good job of taking up a lot of visual space for a very affordable price. The Moon Glow is a seven inch brown sconce in black or white. But what makes this really interesting is that you can shift these in all sorts of different directions and patterns with that indirect light and it just creates a very interesting effect. Greet is the square version of Moon Glow. It is also seven inch with the same type of adjustability to create different angles and shapes and interest within the space. And both of them are very reasonably priced. The Oyster is a very, very sharp looking black chrome, but the shape of the Oyster is a little bit oblong, so it makes for an interesting fixture that you can adjust at different angles. The light actually illuminates a cross and is washing that interior piece of metal, and it just makes for an interesting effect that also throws the light downward so you have good usable light. The next fixture that we're gonna feature is Quill. This is a very nice fixture that is very rich looking in its glass presentation. It has a V-shaped ridged glass with an up light as well as down light feature that produces a lot of lumen output depending on how many pendants you put on a square, linear, or round configuration. Here we are featuring our multi-pendant Vigo, we're going to be showing you these in linear, circular, and also square. They come in multiple configurations as far as the amount of lights you can put on, and that depends on the shape. Up to 41 lights can be offered on these fixtures. Thank you for visiting with us. I hope you enjoyed this brief tour. There's much more to look at. You can go to waclighting.com.